math books, I think, have been basically designed to make sure that math can be taught in these tiny steps, but it's not taught our kids to actually tackle big problems. Why, like, make kids suffer through all these classes and then only give them a project that relates it to the real world at the very end? What if we did it the other way around? What if we gave him project math first and then we did algebra geometry? I liken it to this little anecdote, like a, if you take a kid and say, hey, we're going to go build a doghouse, they're pumped, you know, and that's like, that's so cool. And you say, here's a hammer, here's the nail, this is the type of nail you want to use for this, here's how you measure this, here's how you do. You teach them the tools and they immediately put it to use and then in the end, they have a doghouse and they loved it. But yeah, I feel like math class is taught like, you know, it's like, Here's a hammer, this is how you do it. Let's all practice driving some nails. Very good, put the hammer away. All right, here's the screwdriver. Let's practice putting in some screws. Very good, put the screwdriver away. You know, this is a pair of calipers. You could use this to make sure that all of the boards on your um, doghouse are even. Uh, practice that, got it, put it away. Until pretty soon the kids figure out that you're never gonna build the doghouse, right? And uh, they, uh, they just stop listening. They're like, uh-huh, right? So this is how you use a square, mm -hmm, got it. And like they're no longer connected. So, but the, my promise to the kids in this class was I will never teach you something in class that we will not meaningfully use in class. So, you will never ask when we'll use this because we're going to go outside and use it right now. And they're like, oh, cool. This is my proposal. We have Project Math 1, we have Project Math 2, and we have Project Math 3, roughly but not exactly aligned with Algebra Geometry and Algebra 2, all applied to the whole school, school-wide, the entire curriculum, all Project Math. And for those kids who are really seriously going to go on, we have our culminating class as Math 95, which is an articulated class with Lane Community College. So this is our culminating class. So that was the goal, and this is the model that we have decided on. So school-wide, every class, we have just basically gone with applied math for every single kid. What we decided was that rather than try to teach math integrated throughout our whole curriculum, because math really needs that laser focus, is that we decided to create, this is just math class. So, you know, they can't say, you know, if I ever do math in my science class, students complain to say, this is a math class. So, um, but in this case, it is math class. Classic, you know, like, here you guys go, we're gonna try to simplify these, we're gonna combine like terms, here's all the different ways to do that, you know, so it looks, and if you come into class, it's not like, you know, people are sawing boards and, you know, making noise and drilling holes and stuff like that. It pretty much looks like a math class. We're going to divide it up like this. Rather than pre-algebra, whoops, pre-algebra, algebra one, al geometry, algebra two, we're going to call it numeracy. And grit. Can you use numbers realistically and can you follow through long multiple page problems, right? And the other one is spatial relationships, right? Can you circles, triangles, rectangles, you know, can you work with those? This is kind of geometry. The other big one is linear, and here's the big word. models. So the whole curriculum is not based on skills, which is distributing, foiling, using the quadratic, whatever, right, you know, rational exponents. The, the system is based on once you've got this and you have this, can you use mathematical models to predict what is going to happen? Can you actually look at something and model it with an equation? and then use that equation to do something. That is what we're trying to teach. And all of this stuff are just like tricks to let you do that. 
basically. So that is the focus. And that is totally thinking like across the grain of all these books. Like all of these are just in support of actually doing something useful. And then we just went ahead and said, all right, because we have to divide it up somehow, That's actually not what I meant to say. Um, that was not intentional. Well, yeah, we'll just call it non-linear. I guess that's not quite as, as the idea is that um, you know this is x squared, x cubed, one over x, exponentials, all that kind of stuff, right? So then, can you help kids understand and use non-linear models? So this is our target. Right. Does this make sense? So you might be asking yourself, like, how the hell does anybody do this or pick this out of the book? So that's the goal of this class, is to help you guys see how this might look. Okay? And basically what we're going to do is we're going to divide this course up into four sections. First, we're going to start with this, and then we're going to do some of this, well, actually this, and then we're going to do this, and then tomorrow afternoon, we're actually going to do some of this nonlinear modeling. And rather than teach it down, like social studies, English, history, we're going to teach it across just like we do in the rest of our cohorts. We took those things and basically laid them out, but not in any particular order. Like these are all the things that need to be taught. Polynomials, quadratics, exponential functions, um, uh, inequalities, the works, right? You know, the standard. And then we said, okay, could we then take these and group them into logical things that could be taught together, create a really fun project around it, put that project out two weeks, think about every single skill that those kids would need to complete that project, make a bunch of worksheets to get them there and do the project. Basically, it's just been like coming up with something, doing it myself and going like, oh, look, I just had to simplify, I had to distribute, I had to um, work with a radical, I had to do this, so I better teach these guys how to do this, and then I develop all those worksheets. And then I have them do the projects in groups, and then for the assessment, what I'll do is I'll give them basically the data they wouldn't have gotten had they done it as a group individually, so then they kind of have to show that they can deliver on the math at the end. So the project is the experience, then I can say, you know, if you had built this and measured this and the angle was that, and uh, show me three different ways that you could calculate the height of this beam where it touches the wall, and that becomes an individual test. But I don't really have any tests that are just like sets of problems. They're all project problems. So does that make sense? So that way you can get at the individual to make sure they're not hiding in the group and, you know, 